Hey everyone, I've had a ton of fun showing off these Journey Beyond Sodor Customs and I hope you have enjoyed seeing them as well. And I thought I would end this special video series on an engine that seems to be pretty well appreciated and liked by the fans out there. This is Hurricane and he is the second of two engines that work in the steelworks in the Journey Beyond Sodor movie. And this awesome custom was made by Wong Village who did Lexi and Theo and Frankie for me. So Wong Village, I can't thank you enough for your hard work and your excellent craftsmanship. You've just done a fantastic job with all of the customs that he sent to me, not just the uh, Journey Beyond Sodor ones. And I am just extremely impressed with Hurricane here. Um, whereas I wasn't a big fan of Frankie, like I mentioned in the last video, I am a big fan of Hurricane. I really like his relaxed, uh, almost surfer dude type of mentality. He just goes along with the flow and he's more or less um, kind of being manipulated by Frankie in the Journey Beyond Sodor movie. And he begins to think for himself towards the end of the film and ultimately he becomes a good guy. But um, I really like Hurricane's basis and I really like his face and his personality and he, he just ended up being one of those, um, one of the more light characters from Journey Beyond Sodor for me. So Wong Village had a pretty big task ahead of him when it came to creating this custom. According to the notes that he sent me, he says that he made this Hurricane custom from an off-brand Gordon that he got online from China. So let's just imagine and appreciate this right off the bat here. This custom that you see right in front of you, it's almost too big to fit in camera. This started out as basically a Gordon model which is crazy because it doesn't look anything like Gordon. And I think he ended up, you know, cutting somewhere right around here. If you imagine this as the front part of Gordon, um, he obviously didn't need the tender for anything, but I'm guessing that's what he means. You know, the smoke box area is still the same, but I'm guessing somewhere right around here, he ended up cutting the model and then he made, or you know what? I'm, you know what, I think I know what he did. He actually didn't cut this model. This is actually the entirety of Gordon right here. Um, he just added the cab onto the back here and he had to rearrange the bogies on the underside. So try to not think of this as Hurricane for right now. Try to think of this as a Gordon model. So you have you know Gordon's face down here and you have the smoke box and the boiler leads all the way to the cab. And obviously, you know, there are some extra wheels down here, but looking, if I were to cover my the, the wheels with my finger, looking, you know, up this way, it does look like a Gordon model after all. Um, it's hard to believe that this started out as a knockoff brand Gordon because there is a lot of custom work and, you know, changes and modifications and cutting and sawing that had to go on to make this hurricane look like the way that it did. So, um, as you can see there, I kind of had a moment of revelation while we were talking about this. I was like, you know what? I actually think I know what he did here. Before, I was under the impression that he cut it somewhere right here and then added this back area on. But no, he just made some modifications and some changes. And the back area where the bunker is, that is actually a separate piece, if you can see that right there. You can see a small, faint line. Um, a really cool thing that he did for the bunker back here... You may notice there is like some actual coal in the bunker. This is actually styrofoam that he has painted black, I think. And if I put my finger over it, you can kind of hear that classic scratching noise that styrofoam makes. So that was a very nice addition, Dieter, for doing that. Um, really creative. And I can actually come along and touch that up with a Sharpie to make sure it stays black like that. Um, just a super impressive custom overall. I'm just really blown away by all of the hard work and dedication that went into this. Um, I really feel like he nailed the color um, throughout this model. It seems like the wheels are a bit darker than the rest of the body, but I think that's just the way that the light is shining on the model right now. So as you can see, we have like the nameplate there, if it will focus, there we go. And he had to print out some of the extra details. He also has these pipes here, which I'll explain in a second. And then Hurricane's number is 20 back there. And we flip it over to the other side. It's pretty much just a uh, mirror image of what we just saw. And what makes this model extremely unique, in my opinion, is 
uh, the bogey, the chassis setup underneath. If I had done a custom Hurricane, I probably would have taken like a Gator model or like a, a D199 model and done something with that. You know, one of those uh, models that has the two sets of bogeys that are the same size and I probably would have just shortened Hurricane. But Dieter came along and he actually, it's like he took the chassis off of something else and he, if you can see the screws underneath there, those are actually his own screws that he's put in. So he actually had to do some serious chassis work to get this to, you know, look the way it does. Um, let's take a look back at his notes. He says, um, the modification was done basically by adding the bunker, which I talked about as a separate piece back there. And then the extra wheel as the pipe to the cylinder. And I think that's what he's talking about right there. So we had to add all of that along. And I mean, the pipes right here are very, very fragile. I almost don't want to touch them because they're, <laughs> they look extremely delicate. But that is an important part of what Hurricane looks like. So I'm, I'm glad he took the time to um, include that in the finished product. Let's see. The extra set of wheels was sawed off from a piece of rolling stock and then they were stuck to the first pair of wheels to create a kind of six and four wheel configuration as seen in the movie. So hopefully that makes sense. We have six wheels up front here where it says Hurricane. And then I think he said these back wheels came from a piece of rolling stock. Um, but what's really impressive is this model can actually corner. I think that's uh, maybe one of your first impressions you got is that it seems really long and it is really long but it still actually fit on a turntable and um, but yes it will actually corner um, which is just extremely impressive to me I don't know how I mean Wong Village must have like a list of bl blueprints that he comes along and uses I think I've been messing up Hurricane's face slightly there by putting my hand on it so hopefully it still looks good but yeah, I mean, you know, obviously Hurricane was a challenge from the beginning, but then he basically had to come along and custom do the, the chassis and the wheel arrangement so that it would look like something from the movie. Whereas I talked about if I did this custom, I probably would have used like a Gator model. We've only, we would have had four wheels back here and then four wheels up front, but he added the extra lane or the extra two wheels um, to make it look like it does in the movie. So that is some serious dedication right there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, he says the back set of wheels were moved back to make space. Uh, maybe it looks like they maybe used to be closer than they were, that, but they had to move them back. I think that's what he means by that. You don't want, if the wheels start running into each other, then the whole model doesn't move. And then he says the face was cast from an adventurer's hurricane using clay. So when um, Wong Village sent this to me, obviously it didn't have the adventurer's face because I don't think the adventures model was even out but here is the um, clay face that he sent me and I mean Dieter even if you weren't a total expert at making customs your clay uh, face making skills are awesome as well I mean that is an excellent hurricane face and of course the only reason I replaced it is because we had the adventures hurricane um, come along and the face is actually a really good size but nonetheless as I have said with all the other faces, the temporary clay face that he sent me is just as equally impressive. So uh, let me remove Wooden Hurricane here for a second and bring in the Adventures Hurricane. This is the face that um, I ended up cutting off of an, an additional Adventures model and then putting on the wood version. This is an all right version of Hurricane. It has you know some of the details, but the big part that's missing here is he doesn't have enough wheels. He only has six wheels. And I mean, they could have stuck in, you know, a smaller wheel here and a smaller wheel here, but they ended up not doing that. And like all the other, you know, adventures models I've shown, I've done some custom upgrades to this uh, hurricane here, but the shape of hurricanes, all right. He just looks a little funny and a little, I don't know. It seems like he would teeter because he only has three wheels and they're towards the, the back of the model there, as you can see. So that's the Adventures Hurricane. There was also a Trackmaster Hurricane, but obviously the face on the Trackmaster version is going to be way too big, even though it is an excellent face. So whereas the Adventures face seems pretty big 
on the Adventures model. I feel like it's actually a decent fit on the wooden railway version. I probably won't look into other forms of merchandise in order to change it. I think it's a pretty excellent fit if you ask me. Maybe it's, it's probably a little bit on the smaller side because Hurricane does have a really big face. But for all intents and purposes, this is, um, it's a pretty good one. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of Hurricane, and I've been a huge fan of all the other Journey Beyond Soda Customs that I've shown off here in these past couple videos. I want to extend, excuse me, a special thanks to Wong Village, a.k.a. Dieter, once again for his hard work, and he, he put these together for me in a relatively short amount of time, which is pretty crazy, and then he had to ship them to me um, from overseas, which took a while, and then I've actually had these in my collection for a while, but I've just been waiting to get some additional adventures models so I can pull the faces off and just kind of make some finishing touches here and there, so thanks for being so patient, Dieter. Um, you know, like I've said in all these other custom videos, I've had very little to do with the actual custom making process. I'm just the very lucky guy that's been able to get to show them off to everybody else. So big thanks to Wong Village for his incredible work. And I hope you guys have enjoyed, you know, this latest segment or round of Kikaris Customs where I've shown off the Journey Beyond Soder engines. Of course, there were four engines that were made by Wong Village. And then Merlin was made by Hero the Japanese Train. And they all look awesome and excellent. So Hurricane, from an aesthetic point of view, looks awesome. Uh, it's even more impressive than he can actually run on the rails and go around corners because he has, you know, a flexible working bogey. So... I tell you what, this may just be the hottest custom in town. I'm really sorry for that reference. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I love making these custom engine type videos. And I really appreci appreciate your guys' support and viewership. And until next time, this is Thomas Wooden Railway saying thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.